third law, conceal your intentions. Keep people off balance and in the dark by never revealing the purpose behind your actions. If they have no clue what you're up to, they cannot prepare defense. Guide them far enough down the wrong path. Envelop them in enough smoke and by the time they realize your intentions, it will be too late. Whatever your interests are, know that you are not alone. People's interests almost always conflict with each other. If you want to win against your competition, you must conceal your plans, whether it be through lying, persuasion or indirectly throwing people off track. The first strategy, use decoyed objects of desire. People are rarely trying to actively figure out people's intentions. It takes too much cognitive power and the brain is lazy. Give your target a decoy and they will easily accept it. Simply dangle an object you seem to desire, a goal you seem to aim for, in front of people's eyes and they will take the appearance for reality. Once their eyes are focused on the decoy, they will fail to notice what you are really up to. So when should you use decoyed objects of desire? For example, let's say your parents really want you to become an accountant, but you want to become a psychologist. So you say to them that you want to become a psychologist, but they say no, otherwise they aren't going to pay for your studies and you have no choice but to agree. Conceal your plans and set a decoy. Okay, yes, I would like to become an accountant, but I also want to buy my own car and books so that I can drive to the university on my own. Then use those decoys to work part-time and save up money so that when the time comes, you can pay for your own studies and choose your own career. If you like a girl in a social group that you are not a part of, but you know the guys in the social group also like the girl, conceal your intentions and you give a decoy. You just want to become friends with the guys of the social group because you like sports. Have you ever heard of a skillful general who intends to surprise a citadel, announcing his plan to his enemy? Conceal your purpose and hide your progress. Do not disclose the extent of your designs until they cannot be opposed. Win the victory before you declare the war. The second strategy, put on a mask. People's first instinct is to trust appearances because it takes too much time to actively read people. People's brains quickly stereotype people. Think of it like this. A man with a fancy suit walks in a busy store. The security guard will easily dismiss him as not going to steal anything and rather keep his attention focused on more shady looking people. If you talk like and look like an honest person, people will accept you as an honest person without a lot of evidence to support it. If you look like and talk like an authority figure, people will believe the mask you put on. That skill set, a poker face. Behind a bland, unreadable exterior, all sorts of mayhem can be planned without detection. Never break your frame. Practice holding a poker face. This is the weapon that the most powerful men in history have learned to perfect. Fourth strategy. Do not justify, but attack. Justification is a Machiavellian's fallacy. The more you speak, the more your words can be used against you. Rather go on the offensive and make the enemy justify himself. Answer questions with questions. Redirect the conversation. Change the frame. Therefore, when a man is tested, questioned, scrutinized, and cross examined, his first instinct would be to defend himself and give logical reasons why. Little does he know that his challenger's agenda is malicious and their inquiry insincere. Such a man haphazardly scrambles to explain himself by demonstrating his thought process. It is in this moment that the Machiavellian knows they have won. Widening smile, such a rational yet foolish man can be gamed, intimidated and humiliated. He will be kept on the defense with his own words, for it is they which will be weaponized against him. The more he speaks, the deeper his own grave. Fifth strategy, this arm by a noble gesture. People want to believe apparently noble gestures are genuine, for their belief is pleasant. They rarely notice how deceptive these gestures can be. Disarm a target by making a statement of that person. This can be any observation. You must be a public speaker. This will quickly grab their attention. Is it a compliment or an insult? What does it mean? When you cold read people in front of them, it will grab their attention as their brain is interpreting it as valuable information about themselves or a potential threat. This will distract and throw your target off track if they come too close. It doesn't matter what observation or noble gesture you make, as long as you make one. The last strategy, appearing to belong to a group. The tendency to mistake appearances for reality. The feeling that if someone seems to belong to your group, their belonging must be real. The trick is simple. You simply blend in with those around you. The better you blend, the less suspicious you become. Many believe that being honest and open, 
you win people's hearts and show your good nature. But by being unabashedly open, you make yourself so predictable and familiar that it is almost impossible to respect or fear you, and power will not accrue to a person who cannot inspire such emotions. People love talking about themselves. It is easy and natural to always want to talk about one's feelings for the future. It takes great effort to control your tongue and monitor what you reveal.